A good motor systems management plan is important because it saves money. It saves money in two ways. It helps you avoid failures of your motor driven equipment and it helps you avoid paying too much for your energy. Downtime is critical, it costs money. Money that can't be gotten back. Production must continue, motors drive industry. Within manufacturing as a whole, Department of Energy studies show that about 70% of total electrical energy use goes to power motor driven equipment. Some plants I've assessed that figure is over 90%. A motor inventory can be an aha moment for many facility managers. Motor management is, is making the plan before the motor fails. Because if you wait till after the motor fails, typically you're in a panic mode and bad things can happen. When we do a motor assessment, not only do we look at the motors, but we look at the energy consumption and energy cost for each motor. A motor management plan in any facility is extremely important because as we found, most facilities, commercial or industrial, are really unaware of what their motor population is. By doing this whole procedure, we actually found motors that, uh, I mean, I knew they were there, but nobody ever had a problem with them, so they weren't maintained the way they should have been. There are several stages to a motor efficiency assessment. First off, uh, just taking a motor inventory and looking at the nameplates, determining which efficiency class that your motor is in. Obviously, if you have a standard efficient motor, you'd want to replace it with a NEMA premium efficiency motor. We went through every machine, so we knew exactly what we had, and we knew exactly how many old and efficient motors we had, and we had a lot of them. Once the procedure was done, we went through the process of trying to change out the oldest ones first to the premium motors, and it's still an ongoing thing, but we have done quite a few already. We do many free motor audit surveys to do energy savings for our customers. It's to our advantage to look at reducing inventory, reducing costs, and helping customers out.